Hey guys, I just wanted to uh, make this video today to discuss a simple truth. And this one truth is uh, you either believe it or you don't. And I pray that we all believe it and understand the depth of it. And it changes everything. Okay, let's get a grip and a grasp on what wrath is, the wrath of God. Let's get a grip on it. Okay, Christ came into this world to take upon himself all the sin of all of mankind for all time to the nth degree, to the ultimate limitless level of what this thing called sin is, the veil, the blindness, the darkness, all the things done by men through the fall, the lack of knowledge of him. Okay, he took this on himself. Okay, God poured out his wrath upon his son to the infinite level and degree that God had wrath against this, poured it out on his son. His son took it for us, all of God's wrath upon himself. And he suffered the wages of sin and death on our behalf because he took God's wrath against sin upon himself and suffered and died for us. Is this not a great love? Okay, so if one says that the future wrath of God is coming, then they're not believing the truth. Jesus took this upon himself. Okay, so let's talk about judgment. Scripture says that all judgment was given to the Son. The Son made his judgment call, which was what? Not to condemn the world, but come into the world to save the world. So this was his judgment call. Knowing that he would take this thing called sin upon himself and receive the wrath of God upon himself so he could what? Defeat death, hell, and the grave and all the power of the enemy. He did this. He said it's finished. So we must believe it's finished. Okay, let's look at a, another thing as far as sin and death. Okay, sin was judged from the beginning, before it ever happened. God told them in the garden, do not eat of this tree. If you do, you will surely die. Sin was already judged from the beginning. Now, what we see playing out, if we believe this, in this new covenant, this world today, by what Christ did, then the wrath of God cannot come against mankind or this world or his creation because he poured it out on the Son. Do you believe this? Then you can't say God's wrath is coming. If you use the term God's judgment is coming, well, yeah, his judgment was against sin from the beginning. So we call the people to come out of sin in unbelief so they don't suffer the consequences of sin which is death christ took that for us on the cross and offers us eternal life so god's judgment and wrath coming is not like you think the wages of sin are played out in people's life because they don't believe in him well this is a no-brainer now that we know this, that Christ defeated the power of the enemy, left him disarmed, toothless, and just roaring around like he thinks he knows, the lie is still in the hearts of men because we're all born into sin, not knowing God. Well, then we understand that this ignorance, this blindness, this lie works in the hearts of men until they come to knowledge of God or faith in Him and believe in Him. 
And the only evil played out in the world and the wrath in the world is by the hearts and minds of evil men. Not the enemy. Evil men connected to the enemy. And God says, what? Men have, men's wisdom and knowledge is foolishness to God. They're blind. They stumble around in the dark and have no power except to die. Okay, we call people out of this and say, hey, we know the truth. He came. He taught. He did this great thing called taking on sin within himself, taking it into himself to suffer God's wrath, total wrath, complete wrath into himself. And he died for sin, the wages of sin. He suffered and died for us so that we don't have to. If what? If we receive him this truth in its fullness, because he said it's finished. All this is in Scripture. And then it says also in Scripture that Christ was the fulfillment of the law and the prophets. So this tells us that the prophets in the Old Testament spoke of Him who was to come, Christ. Now, our New Testament, it says that the spirit of prophecy is our testimony of Him who came. Do you see? Now, everything's changed. This should give us wisdom of why things happen in this world. No power of the enemy but man in darkness, in sin, connected to the devil, he has no power, but his lie is the residue of fallen men. And so the evil and wrath that comes upon the earth is not God. It's just men because they're blind and ignorant. Oh man, what freedom, what release when we understand this. We who have received the truth have received Christ, the love of the Father, the, the indwelling Spirit of the love of God. This truth is revealed to us. Christ is truth. His finished work on the cross. He doesn't have to come back to finish anything. He said it's finished. We either believe it or we don't. If we don't believe it, we can see God's wrath coming. His judgment coming. No, Christ finished it. He said it's finished. I am the light of the world. This truth went out into the world and now people know the truth and come, can come out of sin and into life. It's pretty simple when you get it. If you get away from this simple truth, it's disgracing the Christ cross and what Christ did for you. Don't do that. That's not a good thing to do. Now we all start in a place of blindness and ignorance and we don't know and we have to grow in knowledge of how great a thing Christ did. And it's an infinite level of life and knowledge and understanding that gives us wisdom in this life to understand how to operate in it and what the kingdom's doing. And we are the kingdom on this earth right now, the church, people that believe in Him. Now, there are Christians that haven't got the revelation. I was one of them for many years. I believed in Christ, lived by faith, but I had no wisdom. I hadn't had the indwelling spirit of truth in me, and I had many bad teachers that, that kept me from this truth of the nowness of the rulership and reign of Jesus Christ over heaven and earth, and I still thought the devil had some power. And I still thought he hadn't finished his work. I was dead in Christ. Well, what shall rise first? The dead in Christ because we have faith in Him. And He's faithful. He will come to you and teach you the truth to get to, to the place you can receive the truth. And then His Spirit will come into you and indwell you. And the Spirit of God will lift you up to newness of life, understanding the truth. You will become a new creation in him now and finally effective for the kingdom seeing it that you've entered it 
uh, I can't make this as any more simple than what I just have. And I pray anything else that takes you away from the truth I'm telling you now are doctrines of men. Please don't go there. If you think Christ has to come back to finish something He didn't finish, then you're not understanding what He did and you're not believing it and having faith in it. Well, guys, um, God bless you. And uh, I don't mean to upset people, but the truth tends to. Because it causes a person <clears throat> to feel like that what I'm saying is coming against them. And it's not. It, it does come against the doctrine and teachings and beliefs of men. And, and, and you know, we get, we get at times to believe that we've come to truth and we know the truth and it feels like a personal attack against us, but it's not. It's not. We have to humble ourselves and open our minds and understand that we don't know everything and we have to unlearn a lot of bad teaching. And most of the people I talk to understand that and have been in a process of unlearning a lot of bad stuff. And I had to go through the same thing and it was so hard for me to get over the dispensational stuff taught to me all my life and to understand this truth because the dispensational teaching sounds so right to your natural mind. And you know, I used to watch these end timers on TV and, and gosh, it made so much sense. But at the same time, something inside of me, the spirit inside of me, the truth that I received, the spirit of God kept saying, there's something not right, there's something not right. And I had to come to a place of humility and find, find and ask God for the right teacher so I could come into the truth. And it's a covenant teacher, it's a grace teacher that will lead you out of this deception, out, out of the grave as one dead in Christ and into life. Jesus has got the future and He's good. Well, guys, I, I better end this before it gets too long, man. God bless you guys. Be blessed and have a great day.